Hello everybody, me here. Today I am doing a review slash doing a uh, speed paint maybe later with Oh Who oh, Hoo markers. These are like really cheap markers I found on YouTube. I actually found a review of them and I was like, hey, that, that actually looks pretty interesting. Why not get them and do a little test for myself and at least I'll have a few extra markers because currently I only have Prismacolor markers and they're obviously pretty expensive. Um, I'd say maybe like, I don't know, just buying a few markers can cost up to like $20 or more. But with this, I actually got, we actually got, I'm not going to say I paid for it because I didn't. Thanks to my mom because she paid for this. <laughs> she paid about $50 for 80 markers and that is actually a pretty good price. Um, I now, by the time I'm filming this, the prices may have gone up, they may have gone down. I don't know, so uh, you guys will just have to go look at Amazon and check out what the prices are, but they should stay relatively the same. So the actual markers come in this really cute bag, um, and I've heard some things that the bag is not actually that good or something, but so far for me it's actually been pretty handy. Now one of the problems that these face is that their caps do not match the colors themselves. But that really doesn't matter. You really just can make a little chart like I've done here. You can just make a chart and uh, that'll just tell you what mark or what colors you have. So I've made a little chart here. Also, normally when you whenever you order some of these, you'll get a, cu a couple, a few fluorescent colors. So I got three fluorescent colors. Um, as you can see here, if it'll focus. There you go fluorescent. I got three of them. I got an orange, a yellow, and a pink. And I definitely will not be using those because I'm not a huge fan of fluorescent colors when in drawing. I mean, they're okay for like highlighters or whatever, but I'm not looking for highlighters right now. <laughs> then there's all these vibrant colors. Um, blues, reds, oranges, yellows, pinks, uh, turquoise, greens. And then I actually got a fair amount of skin colors, and I was hearing a lot of stuff about uh, not getting enough skin colors or something, but I guess people are saying shades of skin colors. But personally for me, I normally only use one shade of skin color, and I got a good bit of um, choices here. And I got some browns, some grays. I got a green gray, a couple warm grays, a couple, a couple warm grays, blue grays, and cool grays. And then a black. And yeah, so those are actually all of the colors that I got, exactly 80. I think this is 80. <laughs> so yeah, and here are what the markers actually look like. These are fluorescent colors. Um, these are the fluorescent ones, but this is what the markers look like. They are, here they are, Ohuhu art markers. Here, as you can see, they have a chisel tip and a fine tip what the barrel looks like and everything and um it does it is actually not round as you can see so that it doesn't roll so that's pretty good the prismacolors do uh tend to roll occasionally because their their barrels are round so those are the fluorescent colors that's what they look like and there's dog fur everywhere i'm sorry there's gonna be like dog fur everywhere because my dog is sitting next to me so yeah and um I haven't actually, I haven't actually tried drawing anything with these yet, but I do know that with these um, Prismacolor inking pens, they do not bleed too badly, so that'll be useful for uh, line art. So we'll see how that works. Now let me show you the actual markers themselves, not the fluorescent ones, but the ones in this bag. So. Now, I took liberty into sorting them by color so that I could, you know, have all the colors sorted out. So here they are. These are the Ohuhu markers. This is the 80 set, and so far, so far that I know, this is the most you can get in a set. And um, they came relatively fast, but I think that's because they shipped from somewhere very close to us. Um, so, I mean, they think that's why it shipped so quickly, but other people have said it ships fast too, but I don't know where they live. They could live very close to the, um, to the place that they ship from, but here, here they are. Sorry for the lighting. Uh, there's like a huge window right next to me. That's how I'm getting okay lighting, but let me do if I can, let me see if I can give you guys a little bit of a close-up. 
So they do say the, the number and the color name on top. So yeah, it does, it does say color, but the one problem is that they do rub off. But that's okay because um, since they're on both sides, at least one side should stay for a while. Unless you like, you know, sit there and scrape at it all day long, then it's going to obviously rub off. But anyway, so yeah, those are the Ohuhu markers. Now, as for first impression, and when I was making this chart, none of them seemed to be too dry. But that's only, you know, making one little line. When I actually draw uh, with them... It could be a different story, but as for right now, none of them seem to be dry. And I didn't get any duplicates, but obviously some of the colors did look kind of similar, but I can I can actually see a couple differences in the color. When they dried, they do look different. Like right here, 51, or sorry, 52 and 54, they look extremely similar. Uh, let me see if there's another example. 193 look really similar. Um... Number five and number three look really similar. Really, that's all I'm talking about, but I mean, it's not a huge deal. Slightly, slightly different colors. So that is all of the colors that I got besides the fluorescence, which takes away three, which leaves us with 87. Did I say 87? I meant 77. I think I did math correctly. So we're going to go ahead and attempt to draw something now. So we're going to go ahead and do a bit of a speed paint. And we'll figure out how we're going to do these things. So I'm going to go ahead and set up everything so that you guys can see good. And we will start on our drawing. Okay, so this is the, um, this is not actually the sketch, this is just a little tryout to see if this is what I imagined. Um, I was just, I was thinking about this earlier today, like, what did I want to try drawing, you know, to test the markers out, and I was like, hmm, well, I kind of want to draw, try drawing an animal, maybe an anthro animal, dressed in, like, kind of secret agent kind of stuff, you know, just really sly looking and everything. So I think this will do. So we're going to go ahead and do the actual sketch on a big piece of paper now. So yeah, now we're actually starting. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm kind of testing out um, palettes, but since I only have one sketch, I'm trying to make good decisions. So I'm trying to think of a color for his jacket, I'm thinking maybe blue, but the problem is... <laughs> Um, I don't want to make him too, uh, I don't want to make him too vibrant because he's supposed to be kind of sneaky, uh, sly and everything, so I'm thinking maybe a brown, 
Um, let me think. Maybe a hundred. Maybe, yeah, a hundred looks good. Maybe a hundred mixed with 93. Like, 93 can be the shaded areas. So, let me see. We got hundred and 93. Even though these two do not look anywhere similar when they're out on the paper, they look extremely similar if it'll show you guys yeah they look nothing alike one's more red but they look very similar on paper so as you can see here that's what they look like together and they look very similar okay so yeah so now i'm just testing out palettes and we'll see how it goes Hey guys, it's Mia from the future. So I have actually tried these out. Um, it's actually a few hours later from when I actually recorded this video and I already drew something else. And I gotta admit, these are pretty good markers. No matter what anyone else says, like yes, they do leak a little bit. Some of them may dry fast if you draw on a huge canvas. These videos that I've actually seen of people drawing um, you know, drawing these pictures and reviewing these markers, they draw so large. Not all of them, but a lot of them draw such big drawings. And then they complain and say, these, these dry so quickly. And yeah, they will if you draw so largely and if you, you know, don't go over again and again really quickly so that there's no streaks. These are actually pretty good. If you draw small and you don't draw too big and you don't waste the marker out on really huge drawings, use better markers for better, bigger drawings. If you're going to use these markers, I'd suggest using them on a small canvas, on small paper, and I would highly suggest cardstock because I drew on my sketch pad with these. I have it right in front of me. You can hear it if I, <laughs> if I rub it. Um, and it actually kind of warps, warps, that's not the word, warps, warps the paper a little bit. So I would suggest maybe doing this more on cardstock and nothing else because it does tend to warp because it is so watery and, uh, but that's good. It's good that it's watery because that's, the good marker is watery. So I highly recommend these for people, um, anybody. You don't have to just be starting out. They're a good price. And they're really decent markers. They're good for any beginner, any intermediate, any professional, I swear to you. If you have enough money to buy Copics, go buy Copics. But if you don't have enough money, but you're still a really good artist with what you have, I would highly suggest getting these because they're a good price and they're really good. So overall, I'm going to say that these are fantastic and I would highly suggest you buy them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys leave a like, subscribe and everything and leave a comment down below. Bye, guys.